winter is over finally and I get to dig again. I am beyond excited. Can't wait. Here we go. My first stop is going to be a park that I hit last year. Uh, it's Durant Park and this is the park that I actually found the Barber Dime. Um, I have a feeling last year that I was pretty lucky when I found that. I, I feel like I was actually digging for a different signal. It just happened to be in the hole. Uh, and if you guys saw my last video, I bought a Equinox 800. And I'm going to take a look, uh, you can see right behind me here, right over that way, to see if this machine can actually find something else down there, because I know there's more. It's just my Ace 250, it couldn't do it. It just couldn't cut it. Um, there was way too many iron signals there and uh, I was having a hard time getting anything on that machine and I finally just gave up and I was really frustrated and I was going to hit it again this year anyways but now I have that guy eight Equinox 800 super excited I am all geared up I got Bluetooth headphones in now this is great I am ready to go here goes year two guys Start digging. Well, the very first signal I ever get with the Equinox that I managed to dig got me excited for a second because I thought it was gold. Nope, it's gold, gold colored. There you go, number one. All right, second find of the day, giant bolt. There we go. A lot of this older metal I've noticed brings up at really weird numbers and it's taken me a while to get used to this machine because you know obviously with my ace 250 there was a chart but we're dealing with just numbers now so it'll take me a little while to get accustomed to it and figure out what's what there it is my first coin with the equinox and wouldn't you believe it <laughs> it's a lincoln 1994. There we go though. First coin. Woohoo! Alright. Came up as a 19, so now I know what pennies come up as. Alright guys. I'm getting a little excited about this one. I've got my first pretty good signal. Uh, the Equinox jumped up to about a 24, 25 and uh, it was pretty strong and it was under a bunch of these big roots. And I had to hack through them. And here it is. And I have no clue what this is at all, but there is some kind of writing on it. I'm gonna to try to be really gentle with this. It feels like a penny. I just don't know. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then we'll take a closer look. But it's old. I'm pretty sure it's really old. And I'm super excited. This is literally like the fifth hole I've dug. Oh, this is good. All right, hold on. There it is, Indian Head Penny, my very first one. I've never found one of these before. Gotten lots of weeds and I nicked it and I'm so upset. I must've hit it with a shovel when I was getting that root, but man, that is a nice one. Look at that. Really great patina on it. Awesome detail. It looks just new, almost. I mean, there's almost no wear on this thing. Ah, oh, I'm so mad I nicked it. Darn it. There we go, 1904. That's amazing. Incredible. 114 year old penny. I love it. I love the Equinox. <laughs> this thing's awesome. You can totally tell when there's something good down there. Overcast and the wind's starting to pick up. I think there's going to be some rain coming, which, uh, 
before would have scared the crap out of me with my uh, my 250, but this thing can get wet all at once. I don't care. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt it. Just dug this up. It's old square nail, real big one. I haven't seen one that big before. Came up in the low 30s. And uh, always wear your gloves. I learned that lesson last year. The, uh, the glass can be pretty nasty sometimes. And you can cut, get cut pretty bad. There we go. Well, I was going after a strong 20 signal, which I don't think you can really see it there, but it ended up being just a nail <laughs> as I was getting up. Turned over and, hey, look at that. Service find. Just a quarter on the ground. Nice. Well, I'm not exactly sure what I found here. It was just under the grass. And uh, it's right off the sidewalk here. But uh, it's a big metal plate. It says Murdoch, patent number 2182930. Uh, looks like it got, it's got a date of 1939, Ohio. This lifts up. This kind of turns a little bit, so I'm wondering if this is in the water. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a day. It's looking like it's gonna rain here pretty soon. And to be honest, I'm getting a lot of nails. <laughs> and I'm getting tired of digging up nails. So two more square nails. I think this makes, ugh, I don't know, 10, 12 square nails. Crazy. And they just, they ring up just really weird numbers. They're all over the map. Who knows what's in these things. Um, I will tell you, so far, I've been really happy with the Equinox. Uh, it's going to take some time to learn for sure. Uh, I tried a few different modes. Park Mode 1 seems to be my favorite so far. Um, I'm getting the best hits on that. Uh, the only thing that I'm upset about is I've been using this thing for about two hours and already this cuff is tearing off, which is pretty crappy. Considering that I had my um, Ace 250 for, oh, I don't know. I was using that thing for six, seven months and it never did this. So I'm just gonna replace it with some foam of my own. But like, yeah, it's barely even sticky. So whatever they used, just not good quality. I could pull this thing right off with no problem at all. So that's, that's gonna have to go. Yeah, look at that. Not cool, mine lab. Not, not a great piece of foam. But the good news is it's cheap and I can get one of these. No big deal, I suppose. All right, let's take a look at today's finds. As you can see, a million nails. All old square nails. Uh, that's what plagued me last time I was here was just all these damn square nails. They were everywhere. Um, and I didn't find as many this time, but the problem is they just, they're all over the map. It's not a solid signal. They bounce between, I don't know, like 17 and 23. And I don't know, it's, they're really annoying. So I'm gonna keep hitting this spot. I'll probably come back a couple more times this year because I know there's more there. I just, I get tired of hitting those stupid nails. Uh, a couple bottle caps. This I'm pretty sure is an old key. It's hard to tell for sure, but man, that looks like one for, I don't know. Any thoughts out there? Let me know what you guys think. But to me, that looks like an old key. That was pretty far down. That was maybe eight inches or so. Got the uh, crusty penny, the first thing I found with my mine lab. Uh, I think the date on that came up as 1994. Uh, the surface find of the quarter. And then the find of the day. The Indian head penny, which has just a, a gorgeous patina on it, and I'm so mad that I nicked it. That really makes me upset, because that's going to clean up really, really well. Made the trip worth it, though.
my first Indian hit penny. I'm gonna keep that one for sure. Love it. Thank you guys for watching. I am so happy to be back. It was killing me over the winter to not be able to dig and uh, had a really, really long winter this time as well. So that made it even worse. Um, I managed to sell both of my rings that I found last year, uh, which paid for the Equinox. So I didn't really pay anything for it, uh, which is pretty amazing. Pretty happy about that. So far, I like it. It's challenging. There's a lot new to learn about it. Um, I'm up for the challenge. I like complicated, complex things. I like kind of figuring them out. Uh, I always have. So this one's going to be pretty cool, I think, to mess around with. Other than that foam arm cuff, not too happy about that, but whatever. I'll get some more foam. No big deal. Or I'll just pull it off. It's not like I really need it anyways. All right, guys. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Going to have an exciting summer. Going to have a lot of stuff planned. Going to go to the beach again a couple times maybe. Who knows what we'll find. Until then, keep digging.